climate change occurs, it's common for organisms to change the timing of their reproductive events. Hypotheses as to why this might occur primarily come from systems involving avian specialist predators, or birds, who are relying upon one or two key species in order to have successful reproduction. In these systems, warmer springs have resulted in earlier emergence of vegetation and the insects that feed on this vegetation. As a result, birds must also advance the timing of their reproduction or risk having offspring at a time when prey is less abundant. It is very difficult to document changes such as these because so few long-term studies monitor all levels of a system. Instead, many researchers use Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, or NDVI, which is a measure of the greenness of vegetation as a proxy for the prey that feed on vegetation. They then monitor the relationship between NDVI and the predator over time. For my research, I tested the hypothesis that changes in the timing of prey abundance have changed the timing. I tested the hypothesis that changes in the timing of prey abundance have driven changes in the nesting period of a generalist predator, the American kestrel. Kestrels are capable of feeding on small mammals, insects, birds, and reptiles. And in southwestern Idaho, American kestrels have advanced the timing of their nesting period by 11 days since 1992. Because kestrels are capable of feeding on such a diverse diet, it's unknown if they would change their reproduction in order to track their prey items. Now, I found that small mammals were a key prey item during the nesting period, and NDVI was a reliable predictor of small mammal abundance and therefore could be used as a proxy. I also used NDVI in order to monitor change, historical changes in the start of the growing season, or when vegetation greens up. I found that the start of the growing season has advanced by 26 days in agricultural land only since 1992, and has not significantly changed in sagebrush steppe habitat. Kestrels are tracking these changes in vegetation, which represent changes in the timing of prey abundance, by advancing their nesting period. Plants are greening up earlier because of warmer temperatures, and farmers adapting to climate change by planting their crops earlier in the year. Therefore, American kestrels are nesting earlier as a result of climate change and humans adapting to climate change, driving uh, changes in small mammal abundance. Thank you.